Uh, we're back now with Harry's Barn. Uh, Harry's got some horses heading to the sale in uh, 10 days or so. Uh, we'll maybe funnel some babies down to Harry after that. Harry, Kevin has some horses leaving also. We're not buying that many. I, I talked about claiming a horse last week. That didn't come to fruition. So um, if we uh, if some of these horses leave, you know, the only way to deal with that as far as keeping the numbers up is to move some of the babies down, which is okay because we are going to be short of groom. Uh, one caretaker is has uh, told us a while ago that they're done in two weeks, so uh, the timing is good. We should be able to move some of the horses around. Now, on to Harry's Barn. Anteros is a horse that will be leaving for the sale on the 10th. I don't, I'm not angry at this horse. I, I wish, uh, I, I hope he makes, uh, makes somebody a nice racehorse, but... Uh, for us, it's just not there yet. And, and as I said, there needs to be a, a line drawn in the sand, and I've drawn it, and uh, Interos will be heading to the sale on the 10th. Beach Boutique and Beach Bum BB were noses apart yesterday and finished up very good. Cabernet is still out in the field, should be coming back after a little while. Capistrano trained good. Easton Ivy sold. We sold Easton Ivy the other day. Gone. Easton Ivy was sold the other day. He's going to continue racing at Flam. Might be in tonight, for all I know. Um... So good luck to Steve Doyle, good friend of ours. Steve Doyle bought Easton Ivy off me. Excellent nation coming off a big win. He's probably going to race this coming Thursday. Forged and Fire is going to race at Flamborough on Saturday. Really excited to get in behind Forged and Fire. Uh, obviously, the horse that I saw schooling without hobbles, then making a couple of miscues without hobbles. I never got to go with him with hobbles on, but he should be better than this, and I want to see what he's like on Saturday. Uh, Forged and Fire. Giddy up Max train good on Saturday. Gold Watch is another one heading to... The sale on the 10th. Um, just for me and you, we're trying to get her ready for geared for that March 4th stake at the Meadows. We're not going to jeopardize her or push her to get there, but we are going to pay her into that stake race. Uh, Muscle Chrome looked good on Saturday training. Nancy Allison, how good was she? I can't get over how good she was training on Saturday. Uh, Sunshine's Finest will be leaving Tuesday for his Ohio stake. Uh, I was incorrect. Last week, I had told everybody that he was going to Ohio to race in the Ohio, and then right after that, he fit a Pennsylvania stake. He almost fit the Pennsylvania stake. It was now one of the two or 30. He only has one win. But underneath, uh, I missed the fine print. Greg Schoner, shockingly, not shockingly, did not miss the fine print. It said horses that have made over 45000 not eligible. That was on me. Thank you, Greg, for correcting me. Um, so Sunshine's Finest will likely be coming home right after the Ohio Stake. Trafalgar is training back now. Made a little break the other day, but Harry said he just run up on top of Sam. Two horses back-to-back -back did the same thing. Trafalgar and Harness AM. How does H come after T? Trafalgar and Harness AM both run up on top of the horse in front of them, made a little break. Both gathered themselves well and finished up their mile very, very well. Oh, I see what I did here. Capistrano trained very, very good yesterday, and then I mentioned White Tiger a minute ago. Fastest last quarter of his life last night. I told you we were making some equipment changes. Had I known that he would have been that dramatically, that much that much better, uh, I think James could have driven him in a much more aggressive manner. Coming off a break, never trotted a flat line in his card for James. I think both the horse was coming in with uh, a wavering confidence levels, and I'm sure James's were also. Uh, he drove him com he drove him very uh, very conservatively and was absolutely screaming on the end of the mile. 26 and 3, the fastest quarter of the entire night. And these aren't made up with a stopwatch. This isn't somebody saying, ah, I think it's 26 and 3. This is computer. This is Trackus. And White Tiger trotted his last quarter in 26 and 3. And I talked to James at the after party at the O'Brien's. He said, totally different horse. The changes that you guys made on him, totally different horse. So thanks to Felix uh, Marion, our blacksmith, did a great job with White Tiger. And uh, Harry obviously has done a great job with White Tiger. And I have to give props to my wife, Amy. She loves White Tiger. She takes care of him and um, does a really good job with the horses. She takes care of and especially White Tiger. So good job, Harry, Amy, and Felix on uh, White Tiger. Be back in a minute with Kevin and Jason's Barn.